Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to make um, another birthday card and I'm going to use the Grove Dies and the Grassy Grove stamp set. Um, and this is only my second time using this um, bundle. Uh, my sentiment is going to come from a celebration item and I'm going to use Hope You Have the Best Birthday. And I'm going to heat emboss that on um, a piece of Bermuda Bay. And I have my elements pre-done. So I used the big die and I used two of the little deer. And I love this set because it, it just makes, the cards are so easy, like, but the dies do all the work for you. So my card base is Bermuda, Bermuda Bay. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. And then I just have a strip of the celebration paper. And this is the Simply Marvelous. And it's got all the different colors. And one side is this pattern and the other side is like a marble look and I chose I think it's Bermuda Bay just let me double check here actually it's Coastal Cabana but I used a Bermuda Bay cardstock for the card base which a little bit darker which is what I was going for I cut a piece of this uh, simply marvelous paper to what size did I cut this down to? Let's see. 3.75 by 5. No, actually this one is 4 by okay. I might need to trim this is 4 by 5 and a quarter. And my black piece is 3.75 by 5. Right. Okay, so I had my black layer a little bit smaller than because I wanted a little bit of a border on the outside of my black piece. So it's gonna go like that. And then my deer are gonna go in there. So let's do the sentiment first. So let me grab my embossing buddy. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this in black instead of white because I want to have my card mostly just the black and the blue tones. Oh, and my uh, Versamark is kind of full of glitter right now. Okay, so let's just, and I'm gonna probably use uh, one of my label dies to cut this out, or I might use my Banners Pick-A-Punch. I just need a scrap piece of paper. I gotta catch all my. And I don't have the black Stampin' Up powder yet, so I'll have to use what I have. Because they sell them in the three packs now, and I don't want I would don't want to have to buy all three colors just to buy the one color that I want. So, I'm gonna use what I got. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And I might hit the E again. I love this bundle. It'd be good for sympathy cards. Any occasion, really. Okay, so this is gonna get loud for a little second.
No, that doesn't look very good. I mean, that embossing powder is pretty old. So maybe I'm just going to stamp it in um, my memento. Because I don't like it. I don't like how it looks. Let's see. Change of plans. Changing it on the fly. And sometimes you have to do that. Of course, it would be when I'm filming. Of course, it's a really new stamp, so. Okay, I might have to try stays on. I don't like that either. And I'm pretty sure my stays on needs to be refilled. So this is just a little bit of a sidetrack on this card. Um, stays on will be a, a little bit more vibrant and let's see what that looks like okay. now I'm gonna have to set this aside because stays on does take a little bit longer to dry so we'll start piecing the car together That's a lot better. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside to dry because it stays on. It's a slow drying ink, and hopefully it'll be done by the time I need to grab it. I should grab my stays on cleaner, especially on your clear stamps. I don't use stays on very often, but um, I think for this card. I want it to be vibrant. I would have preferred the embossing powder, but <clears throat> I might just have to break down and buy some new stuff because I don't even know when I bought this. It's old. Old, old. Okay, so. Okay, let's make sure I got no ink on me. Let's bring back the card. And let's glue the, get the center done first. Yeah. I'm going to put my strip down here like this. And I think I'm going to take my memento and I'm just going to stamp two trees down in the corner. Because I think that would look nice. Let's bring back the scrap paper. And. Stamp some trees. Okay, so grab my glue. I always like to do a little something on the inside. Nothing too fancy, but just a little something. I'm just going to trim that off. Okay. That can go on the inside. Now we have really bad high winds and snow mixed with freezing rain. It's, it's pretty nasty outside. Okay. I'll try to get 
get this on straight. Come on, Heather. I know I'm out of practice, but and do I want to pop this up on dimensionals? That is the question. Let's see. Nope, I think I'm going to pop up my sentiment. So let's glue this down. And is there a right side and a wrong side? Okay. And I, I ran this through my Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension. You don't need a lot of glue, really. Like Tombow's pretty. Let's put a dot here and dot there. And that should be good. Because I want to be able to slide my deer in as well. It's got to move down a little bit. There we go. mini dimensionals and my because I can slide my deer in oh, and I put too much glue there oh, I think I'm going to glue them down too I gotta try to get a little bit of glue on their feet because I don't want this coming up. And I want the mama deer looking back at the baby. So let's slide that down. And I got a little bit of glue seepage, but I can go in later with my glue eraser and erases it. Now you can always pop up the baby if you want it raised. I should not have, there we go. Okay. Again, try to get some glue on his little feet. So I don't want him coming up. And get in there. There we go. And there's my glue eraser. So, uh, my sentiment. So I think I'm just going to cut that out and I'm going to pop that up in the up here. So let me see what labels. Let's see. I just got tasteful labels. Let's take a look at that. So I always like to use stuff that I've never used before and I just recently bought these. I don't think it's going to fit on here. No. What about this one? This one might be too big. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have to rethink this guy. So. Okay. So. I grabbed my scallop contour dies and I'm going to use this die right here. So I have Sadie off to the side. I'm just going to run this through my machine. And 
grab my um, dimensionals. And you're never going to see that awful mess in the background. So. put it up in this corner. Change my mind. Okay, now I think the only thing left to do is add a little bit of bling. Let's see, what do I have here? So we have the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and there's like a, I don't know if those are Coastal Cabana, but they're like a light blue, so let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay. And there's so many different colors in the celebration paper, like this done with the, the yellow in the back would look really nice. Um, so let's go large, I guess there's, we'll do one of each. And there, that is the card. not pretty so if you don't have this bundle I highly suggest it because mass produce these would be so quick and easy and then the inside we just stamped a couple trees and did a strip of the paper love 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 thank you for watching everybody give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you follow me have a wonderful day Bye.